I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to upgrade gear in Hogwarts Legacy. So once you go through the main story, uh, you'll eventually get to the thing, this thing where you get the Room of Requirement. And then there's a second part of it where you get to capture BC Elf to something in the knapsack. It'll end with you having this loom that you can place in your uh, Room of Requirement. And when you interact with it, it'll let you upgrade. Now, if you're here, probably, it's probably you have a few questions about how this works. So one of the things is when you go to upgrade a piece of gear, uh, there's two buttons, one for upgrade and one for view traits. So a trait is the thing that you can apply, like there's that little circle icon right there, top left of every gear that has an extra slot, and you can uh, view traits and then add a trait to it. Now one of the things you might be wondering is why it says this trait is too pow powerful for this item. Now all that means is that uh, it has to be legendary, epic, or you know a blue or whatever. So a tier one trait, level one trait, can only go on a blue piece of gear. Level two can go on... Or, well, it can go on blue, purple, or legendary, I mean. Level 2 can go on purple or legendary, so an epic or a legendary. And level 3s can only be put onto legendary pieces of gear. So that is how those work. There's all these undiscovered traits that you'll get, and you mostly get these from bandit camps on the map. So if I go to the map, and then go to the world map, when you've been out exploring, you'll randomly come across these small bandit camps. And that's just one of the ways to get them, but that's, you know, one of the ways to get them is the bandit camps from the collection chest there. And there's other places too that you'll be able to get them in the open world. Anyway, uh, so other than that, there's also upgrading the gear. Now this can be done three times. And what this does is adds a defense stat to the gear. And each piece of gear will, different pieces of gear will require different amounts of materials and different materials in order to level it up. But if you want to just be tankier and stronger, on a harder difficulty, and that really matters, then uh, you can get the ingredients that you need and upgrade them. Now, in order to get those ingredients, there's a few different ways to get them. Uh, some of them, if not all of them, you can buy it Hogsmeade from one of the shops there. The Brood and Peck will have a lot of the ingredients that you need for um, the loom. But another way to do it is to capture all the different types of beasts or whatever and uh, put them over here in your, whatever this place is called. And then uh, from here, all you gotta do whenever you want materials is you summon whatever animal and then you need to brush it and feed it and then it'll let you collect the material from it. Uh, you can only do this every 25 minutes of gameplay. So think ahead with that type of stuff. But yeah, you can you know fill this place up with up to four different unique species. And then from those unique species, you can have uh, uh, multiple, so I could just have as far as I'm aware, I could just have 12 hippogriffs if I wanted. But you can only have four different types of species and 12 total beasts. So there, that's how that works. Uh, and you keep in your inventory. So you could, just, you could just put one in and take one out. You can just move it to inventory and then, you know, put it back. I'm not going to. Uh, so you can just do that in order to get materials for the upgrade. So that is how you're supposed to get most of the materials. But again, you could just buy them. Um, so there's a few things you need to know about then. So if you're just going to buy stuff, uh, there's a gold exploit video I have. You can check the description of this video to see more about that. And then if you want to know about how to force legendary gear to drop from chests, I have a video about that exploit as well. So if you want to put tier three, uh, enchantments on your gear, you'll need legendary. So that video will help you. You'll be able to get legendary gear for any level that you want. Uh, and then also... The other one, the gold one, will get you all the money you need in order to just buy ingredients whenever you see them and not really care about money too much. So you can check out both of those, and that'll help you out a lot too when upgrading gear in this game. Also, if you weren't aware, the traits in general give really cool things. So you can just see what they do. Decrease damage taken from trolls. Increase ancient magic meter. So like, even, even though you haven't found them yet, you could see what all the options are to see if there's anything you would even really want uh, in this list. So you can check that out ahead of time before you go on a never-ending adventure trying to find them. All right, hopefully that helps you out, guys. That is how upgrading gear works in this game. Hopefully now you understand it and all your questions have been answered.